Weather Authority local weather forecast. Welcome back and a happy Monday. Starting off a new work week with really pleasant and beautiful conditions. So this afternoon, low 70s, which was a few degrees below our seasonal average. And right now, temperatures continue to cool down, becoming a little bit chillier outside. So currently 65 in Yuma, 67 in YPG, and a little bit cooler in Imperial at 64 degrees. And those temperatures are going to continue to cool off through the night. So I'll get to that in just a second, but we do have some clouds that are joining us. So this is our current look at our water vapor imagery. So notice we have that little bit of dry air up toward our north, but that is going to be going away. So we are staying on the dry side as far as our dew points are concerned here in the desert southwest, but we are going to have a little bit of that moisture starting to peak in later on this week. So it will bring us some extra clouds and they'll be staying with us through tonight and even tomorrow. So mostly cloudy skies will be in the forecast. Temperatures are going to cool down pretty nicely. So low 60s by our nine or by our eight o'clock hour. And again, like I mentioned, the dew points will be hanging out in the 20s. Winds will also be staying pretty light for now. So it's going to be pretty cozy for tonight. Um, if you are going to be doing any Cyber Monday. So if you're going to stay indoors doing online shopping, really great conditions to do so. Overnight lows, on the other hand, we felt a little bit colder the last couple of mornings and we can expect the same tomorrow. So overnight lows are going to dip down into the 40s, even 50s across the desert. Southwest, so it is going to be rather cold to kick off our Tuesday and then we'll warm up come the afternoon, but it'll be pretty seasonable. So I'll touch on those temperatures in a moment here. But winds are also going to be in the forecast, nothing overly gusty, mainly for Yuma County. We'll feel those breezier conditions heading into tomorrow, but gusts are about 20 miles per hour or so in some areas. So just keep that in mind. We'll be holding on to those winds and they'll even increase going into the middle of this week. So by Wednesday, tracking potential for even breezy to even windy conditions conditions across the area where these winds will be coming from the west. Stronger winds will favor the Imperial County area where gusts could peak as high as 30 miles per hour. So we'll have these winds staying put with us even for the rest of this week will be breezy at times. So these winds will be a little noticeable, but nothing too overly gusty. Quickly now in our air quality index sponsored by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. It is looking pretty good. However, I am going to be looking out for some changes later on this week. First, we're going to have this thick layer of clouds moving in the desert southwest for our Tuesday, and then we'll clear out by the afternoon. So we'll see a little bit more of that sh sunshine and clear skies by the afternoon. But then I'm looking out for some rain potential later on this week. So we'll start to see some showers along the coast on Wednesday. But for us here in the desert southwest, we are expected to see that mainly potentially on our Thursday. So let's quickly look at our eight day forecast sponsored by Imperial Valley. Valley Hyundai. Nice and mild temperatures for this week and we'll have even cooler conditions on Thursday with greater opportunities where we could experience some rain showers here in the desert southwest Thursday even through Friday and those nice and chillier temperatures will continue even through the weekend and early next week. So of course I'll be bringing the updates and watching out for rain potential very closely this week.